Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we're back here again today talking about storage auction lists, how to make money buying storage auctions, how to make money selling the merchandise you get when you buy your storage auctions. If you guys have seen the television shows like Storage Wars or Auction Hunters, you're probably already familiar with this. Uh, in my opinion, there's never been a better time to get... Actually, I take that back. I was going to say there's never been a better time to get in than now. Um, the time to get in was before the television shows came out in the first place. Uh, as soon as Storage Wars came on, storage auctions went from being a handful of guys, maybe two, three, four, six, eight guys at the most, basically going out. There might be 10 units for auction, and it used to just be a handful of us, you know, maybe four of us. And the prices were dirt cheap because, you know, it's four of us guys who know each other. Why are we going to run prices up on each other? So I might say, hey, Bill, you know, I know you like, uh, you know, old stereos. You take this unit, I'll, I'll get the next one. So, you know, he buys it for 50 bucks. Um, you know, the next unit maybe he's got a motorcycle in it. I'm into motorcycles, so I'm going to buy that one for 100 and, you know, Bill and the other guys aren't going to run me up. Once the television shows came on, man, all of a sudden, uh, you know, instead of having four guys at an auction, you might have 40 guys at an auction. Or I've seen some auctions as high as three or 400 people. Everyone's running up prices on each other because people see Storage Wars and they see, even on a junk locker in Storage Wars, you know, they somehow wind up pulling out a jar of silver coins or... Um, you know, some rare antique piece worth $10,000. In reality, most of the stuff you're getting is junk that you're going to sell at garage sales in the flea market. You're looking for those gems, and you're looking for those, you know, high-dollar items. Um, but the majority of stuff is just going to be household junk, you know? Um, but anyhow, the reason I say now there's never been a better time to get into auctions than now, like I said, you know, if you go back before the television shows came on, that was probably the heyday of auctions. You probably have more people involved now than were back then. However, for a couple of years after Storage Wars came on, it just ruined the auctions. You know, there were way too many people at the auctions. Now, I think most people, I think the whole storage auction fad is over. People aren't really watching the reality shows anymore. Um, I think the people who would come out to the auctions just to kind of take a look and see what it's all about, they've all had their chance to come out to the auction and get in everybody's way, and, and they've gone home now. Um, I think you had some people who thought buying storage units was a get-rich-quick scheme. I think people realize that Buying storage unit lockers is hard work, it's a hustle, it's a grind, and unless you're willing to sit at flea markets every weekend, you're probably not going to make much money in this industry. So I think all those people have gone away. Um, auctions are smaller now, auction locker prices are back to normal, so now's a good time to get in. Um, just kind of giving you guys kind of a few resources as far as some good websites to check and things like that. Let me pull up a couple more here. Uh, auctions at that com. Um, what's the other site I like? Uh, okay, so first of all, let's start by talking about this site. Uh, FreeStorageAuctionList.com. As you can see here, FreeStorageAuctionList.com, your source for free storage auction lists. Most websites try to charge you for auctions. This site provides free lists of auctions. Uh, I'll just kind of give you a rundown of how the site works. So uh, on the left here, they got the auctions category. I mean, you can just scroll through and look at things. Um, most of what's on here is actual auction listings. You will see some blogs like storage auction popularity is way down. The fad is over. You know, you may see some informational articles, um, but here's how you use the site. So how to use the site, they actually have a thing telling you how to use the site. Um, you know, how to find auctions, how to search, everything like that. Um, they have a storage auction blog. This could be anything from tips, tricks. You know, this article is about how popularity is down. Um, how to make money with storage. Oh, that, that's something about an ebook. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, storage auctions in the media. This would be like news stories, like, oh, a guy found a Superman comic worth 100 grand. Otherwise, you know, if, if you're looking, okay, let's see what auctions are in uh, California. Okay, so they got auctions uh, January 2015. So January 15th of 2015, um, they break it down in the title what cities the auctions are, and let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. We have five auctions on the 15th. Let's see what's below that. Uh, here's some auctions from January 13th. That's a decent amount. One, two, three. Yeah, so as you can see, this is kind of how it's broken down. If you want to look, you know, maybe you live in Illinois. Um, here's a big list of auctions for you guys in Illinois. Um, so this is basically how the site works. Um, this is a really good book if you're first getting into storage auctions, how to make money with storage unit auctions. Let me click that link. We'll go back to the original site in a second here, but I just want to show you guys something. Sorry, everything's taking really slow to load here because i got another video um, wrapping up right now. 
Uh, you know, let's just go back to the original page. Anyhow, this book, How to Make Money with Storage Unit Auctions, great book. If you're a storage auction veteran, you probably know most of this, but if it's your first time going to an auction, you don't know if you need to bring a lock or a flashlight or whatever else. This book tells you how to find out about auctions, what to bring to auctions, um, gives you kind of a rundown how an auction typically works so you don't feel like an idiot while you're there, don't do anything stupid. Uh, this is another great book, Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit by Glennon Cameron. Uh, I love Glennon Cameron. Uh, look him up on YouTube, guys. He's, uh, I would say he's an authority on storage unit auctions. Uh, he was one of the first guys making books and making YouTube videos telling you guys how to make money and giving advice. This guy is one of the original storage auction guys, so got to give him props for that. And definitely check out his blogs, his YouTube channels, everything else. He's got a lot of great information. Uh, this isn't a bad book either, Crush a Competition. I picked this one up on a free promo and read this one. This one's not bad. Um, I'm running up on the, the time limit of this video here, so I'm going to kind of fly through some of the rest of this stuff. Um, I like this site um, for finding storage auctions near me. It's not the most comprehensive site, but it's free and they do all 50 states, so I like that. Here's another site, uh, Auction Zip. So we can search for auctions within, say, 30 miles of my zip code, 90210. Um, if you want, you can type in a search term, but otherwise I just go down to uh, storage auctions and that way you're only going to be searching for storage auctions. You're not going to have to deal with the estate auctions and things like that. And again, this is auction zip. Let's look at like February 4th. They got three auctions. Let's see what we, what we got here. Um, you can see the city, the time, sometimes they'll describe what's actually in the auction. Uh, some of them just have a date and a time. Other ones will actually tell you how many units, some of the stuff in units. Um, but this is another great site, auctionzip.com. Um, and let's see, uh, storage auction forums. Lastly, this is another great resource. I don't really like the changes they made to this website, but if you go to, uh, it used to be storageauctionforums.com or something. Now it's onlinestorageauctions.com backslash forums. Um, I don't really like the recent changes they made to the site. I liked how it used to be. But here, um, you can network with other people who buy and sell units. Uh, this is a welcome section. You know, introduce yourself, say hello to everybody. Uh, this, this is a section kind of for newbies and questions for newbies. Auction talk, could be chatting, could be asking advice, things like that. The lounge, just kind of an area to hang out. Again, they have a section storage auctions in the news, just like freestorageauctionlist.com, where there's news stories and things like that. Um, talk about the reality shows, talk about stories from your auctions. Did you find a treasure? You know, maybe you find some really rare piece that's worth a lot of money. You can tell other people about it. Weird finds, you know, maybe you found uh, underwear or something, underwear with poo stains or something. Um, you could post that in a weird and wacky find, uh, finds. Here's vehicles. Here's just people to chat about <coughs> what their day job is. Uh, I think most people who are into auctions are into reselling and selling on eBay and selling on Craigslist. So picking is another way to get free merchandise. So they have a section about picking. As far as selling venues, a lot of storage auction people sell on eBay, Craigslist, flea markets, garage sales. Some people have physical stores. Uh, but this is where you can talk about, you know, give tips and tricks with eBay and things like that. You know, I have a lot of flakes on Craigslist. How can I get reliable people? You know, you could ask that and see what other people, tips people have. Um, I thought there was one other interesting section I wanted to talk about. Um, here's where it's more regional, so you can connect with people in your region, share about upcoming auctions, things like that. Uh, but this is a pretty good site. Uh, it's run by a guy named Travis, or I think he goes by TC. A uh, really good guy. He actually, I think, either bought or took over this website from another guy a couple years ago. And he's actually taken it a lot farther. He's added a blog. He's added a lot of other sections. He's added a, an online storage auction element to it. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're into storage auctions, this is a great resource right here. Go here, register for an account, sign up. It's free. You can hook up with other people, ask for advice. Um, if you're, you know, a veteran of storage auctions, you can help out some newbies and answer some questions for them. Uh, auction zips another great resource uh, visit this website um, again this isn't one of the most comprehensive ones but they do tend to leave a lot of give a lot of details about the auctions that they have coming up a lot of times leave and list some merchandise in units and things like that so that's kind of helpful um, and also you can search within your zip code and things like that so I think that's kind of cool too let's look at February 24th see what they got here it's trying to look find one that wasn't by these same American auctioneers this is actually uh Bonnie and whatever the other guy's name is from Storage Wars. This is actually one of their auctions. So you may actually run into some of the Storage Wars guys going to these auctions. Um, and then again, you can always visit freestorageauctionlist.com. If you're new to storage auctions or if you're seeking information or want to learn, again, two great things you should do. 
Buy this book, How to Make Money with Storage Unit Auctions. It's available on Kindle. They run free promos.